Before I drew a breath, he was making ways for me. Mama, dear Mama, salama, dear Mama, salama, dear Mama, salama. Iki itwa o komone.
kama hicho kunaondoa wa alon kana fikia kulika dina wala bai kutagala wala mwe wa fikia kwa bonu hicho haina tuenda na wako watu wako na mdano mwe tukoona na nake na kwa uchade ni kicha ama hicho tuna kila kitu ni cha kwenda na maana wa kutungia ngai mbea ni asama hicho none ndo wa watu mwingine ngai ekala aya gine sawa na tukurusi yake na inti peke lake tumi cha kutani ya dhalusu mwenye mwenengie hizi tuina chema na tuina kuwea nondo mwena uwekwati mwai tuni mwondone singai na mwondone ya miyendene wa andeto ya angai na nitu isika na uopwa kene kukoma na mwondono mwono kwa mwona hata yo yes amen niko hivi kukita kukita tuishi elekea dhali wa maitu ya kesu ni hindo mwenengie na minime na miyaka liyandu ya no na na miyala na ukwa mwena andeni wa miyake kesu na hindi Ekanda ya kakia kutuiki ya vina na kutuna ya ulumu dene wa achadiki na tuibiki ya kutuunga mwabea dene wa achono mwabea kutuna na hini mwusio. Eka ito wale. Kwenda kukaka na kutuunga ya mwabea 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 na maungwala mea mwana 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 kweka dene wa mwana mwana yake mwusume kwea na kubikia joba kunga mea mwusi wake kubika bandone bau wena kukambe wa kumwe joba na kwele cha mwako ni mwaka neta mwaka wa kumwe wa kusha mwana na kasume kia dene wa chadiki ni kanoka chaike kwa kilantia na ni kanama na wanda ikina mwaka wa kaendo tondo kwenda isi tuwa nga kilito yesu tuwa venga nisha mwaka wa nga wangu maida na tuwa liana na kilabe wa nga wa lama huoku Ulo tono to bengi sandine wa me bango Isi ito wa niya Christo Yesu Na na waya mu uwa kato le kwede wako Na kwa kile chande kudi kui kandai wa kato kwa kwone Na ni mga ni matu kanisha wa icha ade mwa kwa ni matu Na waya na nuluwa mutaba nya wa ndeto shaku Dile wa cha ade kinga yu wakwa Uka mwenenge kweza na ndeto Na kwa wiki ya kutu wiki ya pina madhali na maritu Na kutu waka ndai wa ishilari Kondu wa ndai ya na nguma ya shito ya pinini Na waya ni mani nga na mamu shi mwa kwa ni matu Meki ya pina na mani kwa na wikwa ato dene wa kujowa Ibinda lila kimendi kinga yu wakwa chaida na Ibinda lila kutani ya lalu wa maitu Eka kwa kwone toka wiki ya kuita hivya Kona tunguma aluka na kushoka mwusi Nika na tukatole kukwati nila chadiki Tuawo ya nika notu suri ya nziani Misho na mbanga betanga Tukika na mbanga miyamu tangi Tunengia kwa suri yone waku Na mwini choba tuamika Na tuamili ya chadi na tuona kiyeli ya na kodela nesa Tuka ukaga na tuka utungia mwini kwa dhani wa elite Shie tuwa ni nene ya mwini wetu Yesu Krito Tuawo ya pamena kutunga mwbea Ini ya sene mwbea kwa na tuamika Na hindi yu Tuwila na mana kwa kumamana kusoka kusini na nilikuatia kwa hundu tuoka
Siku na furaha Ukoni kusifu Tutaka na mungu wetu Njia amani Hosana itaingia kwa shangwe Chinzuri, chisafi Afterlife. I'm growing weak, nearly jichocha, at the I'll survive Try calling your number, kill a morning like I used to How comes you don't call back like you used to? Guilty na ni mada, nasio ati madara Ineza pita few days na enda ni kama na kusahau Don't judge me, but who am I to judge or choose? You feel God my time, where we were confused We just lost Raz, Papa D na Sniper Pale, pale, mwili ukeletwa hapa mbele Bwana asifiwe. Yes. Mali ya pasikutaka ili ni yeshimiwe haya ni kutema shaka sawa sawa na wewe pamoja na wewe pamoja Yeah. 
mashaka sawa sawa na wewe niongoze safari ni bele unichukue mlango ni wa mbinguni ningie na wewe pamoja Baba yetu Mungu mwenyezi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Oh yes. Tusema ni asante maana mfalme tumekuona ukituongoza katika safari ya kutoka mochuari mpaka mahali hapa ambako baba tumeingia nyumbani. Mm. Tunajikabidhi mikononi mwako na kuomba ya kwamba mfalme kutoka sasa na kuendelea ukazidi kutamalaki ukituongoza kwa vipindi vyote vilivyoko mbele yetu mfalme. Tunaomba ya kwamba kwa kila yeyote baba ambaye ameshafika baba ukawe naye hmm. na hata walio katika safari ya kuja huku ukawaongoze mfalme mguu wa maajabu ratiba tuliyo nayo twaiweka mikononi mwako tuomba ya kwamba roho mtakatifu akatamalaki na akatuongoze kwa kila mmoja wapo ya mambo tutakayoshughulika nayo hmm. katika ile ratiba kwa jina la Yesu Kristo usimame na mwelekezi wa ratiba mfalme umtumie kama chombo chako hata mnenaji wa neno wa siku ya leo naye baba ukamuandae na ukampe neno ya kufa kwa ajili ya kufariji kutia moyo na hata baba kutujenga katika maisha yetu ya kiroho ni ombi langu ya kwamba bwana utaenda kuwa na kila mmoja wetu Jehova na tukiingia katika tamati ya ibada hii mfalme tutashukuru na kulienzi jina lako na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mwokozi wetu tumeomba hata na kushukuru amen, amen. Naomba alame kosa mwe wa maito matu yebano maete na tuina wadhi nikana ailelwe <coughs> na tusio ke wadhi oyongi wa Kiswahili cha kutumaini sina <coughs> wa program tete lalame utukui ya mwe ke poro belas watu ete mwe ba na mwe ayeka nesa indi tuina wadhi usi cha kutumaini sina cha kutumaini sina Ilandangu ya Yesu sina wema wa kutosha Dambi sangu kuziosha kwa ke Yesu na sima na sima madie mwamba ni salama ie mwamba ni salama ie mwamba ni salama
Mwenzangu yuko hapa, Reverend Mutesia, na wapata, haomba ni hili, yapate kuomba, hili mpate kuhumuzika. Welcome, Reverend, to pray. Tuombe. Mtakatifu, tunakushukuru kwa ema wako na mbaraka zako. Tunakuinua, tunakuimidi, maana unastahili. Oh, yes. Mahali ambao, metukisha hapa, mwenyezi mungu, tunakushukuru, maana Tumeona nguvu zako kutoka mwote ya mpaka hapa nyumbani. Sasa tunajibweka mikononi mwako katika ratiba yote. Mungu tunataka kukuona, tunataka kuizi katika kila jambo na tunahitaji nguvu zako. Mungu wa rehema na lehema tunakuomba uwe pamoja nasi. Na nikajina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Basi, naweza kuhumzika uh, kwa viti ya pa kuna viti na musikie mkomali pasuri kwa nyumba ya maitu.
Asante. Asante kwa ya kadaka kai. Na ile modana ya kalande. Modana ya kalande. Ni asia ni ndamo ziko ya mosi. Kenda rode ya ni se wote moito. Mwe request wa mosi mosi o immediately. Na bonga me. Kwaya. Kwaya ya kadaka kai. Ndio ninasema wanahitajika huko nyumbani tafadhali. Kwaya. Alafu wakiendelea kuondoka nataka tupokee kwaya ya AIC Usini. Kwaya ambayo imembombea sana inajulikana hapa Machakos na pia Kenya. Tafadhali Usini karibuni sana mtubariki. Niasia pati ya Londa ziko nini? Tuete mwiwa mwito ba. Tena tuelewe na dhaidi wa mwiso. Tuwele wanavisa Ao wanaondoka ni kwa ya ya AIC katika kai Na wanao ingia ni AIC usi ni kwa ya Karibu ni sana
katika kuomba ukikesha katika kuomba huku na shukrani kitabu maana mwili wa mwai tu uko karibu wako hapa tu kwa njia karibu kuingia endama biko utu nga milio nde munengo ndai ya siake sia mwiso ikana tu kwa ate mwezu wake atoyeda no daidi museo ebu salimia mwenzako na umuulize habari yako Tafadhali msalimie vizuri muulize habari yako. Naomba tusimame sisi wote tafadhali. Tusimame tusimame. Naenda tu ina wazi wazi acha kutumaini sina. Ni wimbo ambao unajulikana na kila mmoja. Naona tunaendelea kupokea mwili kwa mwenda zake uko karibu kuingia. Wazi uzuri wa huu programu netina. Tafadhali naomba tuimbe kwa pamoja. Yeah. 
tunaomba kwa wakati huu mzuri mwema tukapate kuwa na maombi na reverend wetu Emmanuel na tutaendelea karibu sana uh, na wasi ili apate kuomba wanaume wanaofaa kofia naomba msifue shall we pray everlasting master King of glory, God who was, God who is, God who is to be, and God who lives forever. This hour we thank you, Lord, because you are worthy our praises. You are worthy all doxologies. We want to thank you, Lord, because you are the omnipotent God, God who is all-powerful. And by your power, you created the heavens and the earth, and all that is in them. We want to thank you, Lord, because by your power, you created man. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you because 90 years ago, you brought our mom, our grandmother, Elizabeth, to this world. We want to thank you, Lord, because for the last 90 years, you have walked with her, and now she is no more here with us. She has gone. She is in your hands. And Father, now we have assembled here to rest our remains. And now as we start this ceremony, we dedicate ourselves to your hands, Lord, that you take the lead of everything. We know that, Lord, we are human beings and of evil lips. We confess all our iniquities. Forgive us, Lord and cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, we dedicate even the program before thy presence. We pray that, Lord, you will stand with everyone who is asked to do uh, something towards success of this ceremony. We pray for the masters of ceremony. We pray for the presiding minister and all those who will participate in one way or the other. Now, as we have started, Lord, we do pray that in every step, we will walk with you. We stand again and see all the plans and the schemes of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we call upon your presence, that your presence shall reign richly here with us, Lord, and that your grace will remain sufficient to every one of us. We pray for the children of our late mom and all our relatives that, Lord, you comfort them, Lord, and you comfort them in a special way because we know, we human beings, we comfort one another, but it is only your spirit who can comfort us to the maximum, O oh Lord. Father, if you give us to see the head of this ceremony, we shall forget to glorify your name. We give you honor and glory. We give you all the praises, Lord, for it is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that we do pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Sawa. Kabla tujakaa chini, naomba tushiriki wimbo mmoja wa kitabu. Tafadhali tusimame ili tuimbe pamoja familia. Tafadhali. Nataka tuimbe wimbo ambao uko hapo nyuma unasema Bwana usehemu yangu. Naenda tuine wali wewe wewe dhangu na ni wewe Wasi ya mwenye Weke lungu chakwa Naomba tusimame sisi wote kwa eshima Ya mamu Na naenda wino kuma ngone Ukwanga ino rutevizi ya tunayenda dayo Uyu mungu wa metulinda na katufadhi Na katupea maisha Sisi ya mbao tumekosa na tumekosa na dhambi Agaona tupakisha katika uso wa dunia hii Tafadhali Tuimbe Tuimbe 
nione tuko saa ngapi saa tano hebu geukia rafiki yako muulize good morning angalia mwenzako muulize good morning mwe ona maundu medha maili hata tuinanga hii nataka nikaribishe kwaya kwaya ya usini acheni niwaongeze wimbo maana tumewakatizia tafadhali kwaya ya usini karibuni na tuweza kwaya tafadhali tuharakishe Alafu baada ya hapo tutapata kwaya moja ya kanaani na tunamaliza. Tafadhali. Eh hey, zina mweko naweza mno. Kale kaka hii. Tafadhali tuharakishe. Nanewa washa kutuma etule kuya sia. Andika ni adime akalama kusa ndeni wa moya hii. Yeah. 
Wapigieni makofi, appreciate that kadhali. Maana tumepumzika sisi wote naomba tukaribishe mtu wa nyumbani. Baye ni mwana wa mwenda zake, Professor Richard tafadhali karibu karibishe watu mahali hapa. Ah, uh, ndio ndio waka kidogo lakini bado uh, tutasalimiana uh, kidogo hewani. Uh, katika jina la Yesu na wasalimu wa mjambo wasalimu tena mjambo wacha niseme kwamba tuna furaha kuwaona na tunasikia kwamba uh, umeweza uh, kusimama nasi uh, tangu tulipo pata huu mkasa uh, tuwashukuru na kwa niaba ya familia ya kilonzo kwa niaba ya family ya Mutulens na wale wengine wote represented na waambia mjisikie mko nyumbani umekaribishwa uh, usipate kiu ukimuona uko na hashas wanazunguka round na pia tuko na security ya kutosha usiwe na wasiwasi gari yako iko sawa ama na gari kwa hivyo usipate kiu Uh, kidogo utaelezewa uh, ni wapi unaweza kukusaidia na tuko na hasha tutawaona wamevaa reflectors ambao wanaweza kukudirect uh, uh, kwa lolote ambalo unahitaji uh, kwa hivyo tena karibuni uh, mjisikie mnyumbani na asante kwa baraka zetu asante sana nataka nifanye few announcements tukiendelea tafadhali Mr. Cheni kuja nitakuwa na coordinate na huyu to avoid confusion hapa mbele kama kuna kitu nataka kuambia MC muambie huyu alafu ataniambia shukrani natumai tumeelewana hai niambie hai na unaneni ongezungumwa gizungoke gao hai mwitu ya Z na sasa naona natumia suti sawa nataka tupate AIC kanaani karibuni sana AIC kanaani
sawa. I appreciate them tafadhali. Nataka tupate katika kai AIC kwaya. Na tuwarakishe kidogo.
band tafadhali sande sana nataka my name is Zuri McKenna Matula, and I will read the eulogy of my late beloved grandmother. Eulogy of the late Moito Elizabeth Nduku Kilonzo. Early life. Elizabeth Nduku Kilonzo was born on 6 June 1933 in Nduku Village, Mboni West Location, Mboni Division, Makweni County. She was the daughter of the late John Munguti Ndi, and the late Sietoi. She was a sister to the late senior chief, Paul Nzuko Munguti, the late Kili Munguti, and the late Mweni Munguti. She attended Mboni AIM Primary School in Makweni County. She later joined Community Center in Machakos for catering and tailoring course. Christian Life. The late was baptized in Mboni AIM Church. She later joined Bomani Church in Machakos, where she was a devoted member. Relocation from Mboni to Machakos. The late Elizabeth and her family relocated from Mboni to Machakos Central in 1966. Family life. Elizabeth Nduku was married to the late William Kalonzo Mutule in 1949. They were blessed with nine children, namely late Henry Mbithi, Florence Mweni, late David Muthoka, Andrew Mbuvi, the late Kiloko, Janet Mwili, Rose Mbete, Professor Richard Matule, and Chris Kitungo. She is mother in love to late Rose Mbithi, Frederick Mulika, Nancy Mudoka, late Sharina Mbuvi, Boniface Mutwiwa, Gideon Mulo, Evelyn Mutule, and Janet Kitungo. She is grandmother to Florence Mweni, Jonathan Kyoko, Christine Nathania, Elizabeth Mbula, Sarah Mbithe, Dr. Victor Mwitha, Victoria Mwende, Vincent Mwitha, Helen Mutindi, Alexandria Cavinia, Cecilia Nduku, John Kiduku, Jacqueline Gaiki, Dr. William Mutule, Mwende Mbuvi, Sylvia Kilonzo, Sarah Mbuvi, Anthony Kilonzo, Eva Nduku, Alfred Kilonzo, Tripolina Mbuvi, Engineer Rose Malika, Fred Malikia, Valerie Nduku, Faith Munyani, Mandela Kilonzo, Alicia Ndunda, Zuri McKenna, Duke Matula, Kai Matula, Engineer Keith Kilonzo, John Matula, William Masuki, and Elijah Mutinda. Work. The late worked at the Peter Weber Farm that later became the Kadeka Kai Farmers Cooperative Society, where she was a member. She helped require Richard Percival's Patha Farm, now Kadeka Kai Farm B. She was director of the W.K. Andrews and & Bros. and its successor, the W.K. Andrews and & Sons. She was an excellent farmer, rearing livestock, growing cereals, and other foodstuffs. Social life. She was a generous and jovial person who loved her family, staff, neighbors, and the society. She came from a humble background and had to work extra hard to feed and educate her family. She enjoyed helping the needy. She was a keen follower of current affairs and a prayerful mother, always brave, even when things were tough. Illness and demise. She lived a healthy life until 2018 when she was taken ill. She would recover on and off, then continue with day-to-day -day activities. But in November 2022, she became unwell, worsening her condition in January 2023. On 15 February 2023, she peacefully passed away at her home at the age of 90 years. See, she is survived by her grandchildren, children, and great-grandchildren. O oh Lord, grant her eternal rest. Let your perpetual light shine on her. 
May your soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Kila mtu aseme amen. amen. Hallelujah. Naomba tusimame. Hebu simama. Angalia mwenzako amwambie simama. Mwambie wewe unajua tuko na Mungu. Mwambie tuko na Mungu. Ona Mungu ndio naye anaenda hapo worship. Sema tuko na Mungu. Mwenye aongee ni ndio hapo worship. Ambia mtu tuko na Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebu fanya mkono hivi, fanya mkono hivi. Inua mkono tu hivi, inua mkono hivi. Wave at me, wave at me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nataka tusifu Yesu na tuabudu Yesu. Alafu tukaribishe mtumishi wa Mungu. Tuko na kasisi hapa, tuko na makasisi, tuko na mapasa, tuko na mabisho hapa ili watubariki. Hallelujah. Kama unajika kitu hebu weka kwa kwa, kwa, kwa kitu. Kama kuna kitu unashika yaka chini. Unajua huyo Mungu ni wa majira yote. Na lazima aabudiwe hata kukiwa na nini. He remains to be God. Hallelujah. Anabaki kuwa Mungu. 1 2 3 twende. Hebu pigie Yesu mafundi mazuri. Hallelujah pigie. Pigie Yesu mafundi mazuri. Thank <laughs> you. 
wafanye hivi sikiliza haleluya watoto wa mwaitu wamesema wanataka mwaitu wasindikishwe kikanisa kabisa bwana yesu wasifiwe muza mtu muambie kikanisa muza mtu muambie kibada haleluya nataka usimame kwa miguu yako watakama we ni we ndo evo uwa ile kubwa Simama kwa mguu wako tafadhali. Simama kwa mguu wako. Simama. Simama simama. Nataka kila mtu afungua mdomo yake uambie Bwana ni asante maana mimi sitakufa. Maana Mungu umenibakisha uso wa dunia hii. Ambia Bwana tu ni asante. Inua tu mkono wako. Wala hela ndugu moyo wako wewe mbonde. Hii ndio ni asante. Mungu mzuri. Na wale ndabaru. Wale ndakuza nimu ina mwana nane wewe mbonde. Hii ndio ni asante. Hata kama uombaji leo Mwambie Bwana nina sande, umenisaidia, umelinda maisha yangu, umenihifadhi na kunilinda. Sijaona kama wewe, ningekuwa si wewe ningezikwa, ningekuwa kwa jeneza, ningekuwa kaburini. Wewe baba uliyeona ni njema, kushukuru mwai tu kutuacha. Pokea sifa na utukufu, pokea sifa na utukufu. Katika jina la Yesu, nina sande ufame. Mwana tunakuinua maana wewe ni Mungu. Tunataka kusikia kutoka kwako. Na ni kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba tukiele. Amen. Semeni ya amen. amen. Naomba tuketi. Naomba tuketi. Ah. Uh, na ninapo nena neno la Mungu ninaomba asiwe mtu anaye inuka na kutembea. Ninaomba tumpatie Mungu heshima yote tusikie kutoka kwa Mungu. Sauti yangu inasikika? Ah uh, ningependa kabla ya soma mahala ni waite watumishi wa Mungu waje watusalimie. Na ni salamu tu ma kwa siku ya leo. Yes. Vadali tu wakati. Tuokoe Pastas Nende wani umoke dianda ya nea Yesu Mwia ini museo Na mabi indaonde No tuke vani siyo wako ambika angolu Hallelujah Amen Na kwa anita wa Reverend Mutunga Wa sabu vrongu la muni Assistant Pastor Reverend Chaus Nita wa Reverend Mutunga Nenda na Minister of Dab Christian Fellowship in the national. May God bless you all. Thank you. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Pastor Lydia Kamia na ninampenda Yesu kama mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Mimi ni wa SK na hakuna kanisa ambayo ni special. Makanisa yote ni ya Mungu. Praise the Lord. Amen. Na ninampenda Mungu, ninamuondomea 
I'm a hedged woman. I'm a hedged Yes. Ikiwa siku penda mungu, ningekuwa mare. Praise the Lord. Na kwa sababu ni nampenda mungu, ndio ni nakuja kushudia mazishi ya bibi wa brother yangu. Praise the Lord. Nimesema jina na mahala unafanya. Reverend Well, Andrew Mauzel, uh, Nairobi. Uh, na tuko hapa kwa sababu ya nchi yetu na tunashukuru kwa wote ambao wamefika. God bless you. Dada Sisiwe, msalimu ya tafadhali. Jina Skofu Jopri Bukuna. Toka upande wa na hudu kanisa linaitwa Victoria Christian Church. Tumekuja hapa kuwakilisha Jane Kamunge ambaye ni mama ya mke wa profesa Barikiweni sana. Ja, bara Yesu asifiwe. Praise God once again. I'm Pastor Titus Mwea Madeka, the pastor of AIC Usene. I am the pastor to Nancy Munoka. Baya tunakuwa naye huko, ni mwimbaji wa kwaya na tunampenda upande ule. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki na asimame naye. Asante. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naitwa Dominic Chongo Mbwe kutoka pande ya Ndonyo na hudumu na kanisa la Bible Churches of Kenya. Leo ni siku njema ya kuleta pole zetu kwa hii boma. Pia leo profesa anahitaji pole zetu. Bwana awabariki. Bora sasa sifiwe kwa majina ni Pastor Kader kutoka Makueni kanisa ni AC Kinywani DCC huko Makueni Iwani nimekuja kwa ajili ya Margaret Biduka familia pole Mungu jimwema barikiwe Bwana sifiwe Bwana sifiwe eh kwa majina ni Bon Sioka Kilonzo mimi ni, ni elder katika Church of Christ of Latter Day Saints. Hiyo kanisa ya nikiwa hapa watu wa kutoka America wanaifahamu vizuri sana ni kanisa kubwa sana. Na juzi nimesikia mtu anasema mambo na kanisa lakini hatutaingilia hiyo. Kwa hivyo vile ninasema nimesoma na Andrew Andrew Kilonzo hapa. Alafu baadaye nikaenda USA tukashirikiana mambo mengi wakati nimerudi alikuwa wa kwanza kwanza kunikaribisha kuni, kuni, kuni kwa hivyo all i can say is that um, our mother rest in peace because ametulea vizuri and uh, we hope to meet her again one thing i might i might have when i'm here uh, recently we i had some visitors who came from usa they came to the school here i invited them in a little ground and they actually came to talk to students and to talk to the farmers. What was so interesting, I did not see any member of Kazekakai, only we talked to students. Later on, I learned that this man is as project in Makuweni, which are funded by Bill Gates. You can attest my statement for people who come from USA. We have Bill Gates and the Linda Foundation. These people were members of that place. So next time, next time you see people come here, just try to be friendly to them, come listen to what they can say. Wanasema usikatae mwito. Usikatae wadi. Asante sana. Thank you. Ajina, wana sifiwe. Fences kilu kutoka kasunguni. Na yeleta pole sangu kwa hii familia na ijua. Kenya Church of Christ Ministries. Thank you. Aya. God is good. God is good. Isani mienye hibi. Asante sana. Mina hitu Apostle Joseph Kijana Omungu. Na nimekuja kwa sababu ya Julia Washeke. Ambaye na mrepresent. Niko Kingdom of Sika na Yogi. Thank you so much. The Believed Family. The Latifs and the all the mourners. I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. God is good all the time. Yes, and that is its nature. Um, friend Emmanuel from AIC Mboni, formerly Mboni AIM, 
where white was brought up and baptized. So to the family, may God comfort you and give you courage to move on. Thank you. Bueno, ya se vio. Ya ni de bueno. Bueno, ya se ha sido. Ni wangapi wananijua. Oh, me dedicana. Ni que tenda a wakati huu tusikie kutoka kwa Mungu. Na ningependa a wenzangu tuelewe ya kwamba kuna jambo moja Mungu mwenyewe akuiweka katika mioyo ya mwanadamu na bilo jambo ni kwamba akuleta matatizo katika maisha ya mwanadamu Mungu alipoomba mwanadamu akuleta matatizo kati ka moyo ya mwanadamu na matatizo ndio inafanya watu wakufe matatizo ndio inafanya watu wapate makondwa matatizo ndio inafufisha maisha ya mwanadamu na ndio ningetaka tuelewe aya matatizo mahala yametoka na yanafanya nini katika mwanadamu maana mwanadamu weka katika moyo wa mwanadamu ningetaka nisome katika kitabu cha mumbiri kitabu cha mumbiri nitasoma fungu la saba Nita Arwa Ishirini na tisa Ishirini na tisa Ndiyo wa mwisho Sisi ya umbula Nonete ni uo Gai ni uombi ya mundu Ya mulongalu Indi Nume mandi ya makoso koso. Tazama mungu Tazama ni mekundua jambo hili Moja kwa mungu Aliumba mwanadamu Munyofu Lakini wao Wenyewe wamejitabutia matatizo Matatizo Nemetangulia kusema Mungu akuweka matatizo Kati kamanadamu Mwanadamu diye anajitafutia Na hata wakati kama huu Mwanadamu angali anatafuta matatizo Tunapu angalia katika kitabu cha mwanzo Mlango watatu tunaona Vile mwanadamu alianguka Na uo ndiyo mwanzo wa matatizo Kuanguka kwa mwanadamu Diyo likuwa mwanzo wa matatizo kwa manandamu. Na ni yeye tu alitafuta na akadiweka matatizo katika moyo wake. Ukiangalia katika kitabu cha wakurindo wa kwanza, vungu la sita, ukiangalia mstari wa tiza na wakumi, wa nitasoma na kikamba, kana mutisi kana ala matena umongalu matika atio wa usumbi wangai muika kengeke e kimana e na e itu ona laidi mami wana no ona ilalai ona ala metu saataka Ona ala meyika na ita naume. Ona inge, ona ala me na itomo. Ona anyi, ona aumani. 
ona abutani maika atiwa usumbe wangai zote tuseme amen nilitangulia kusema ya kwamba Mungu wakati aliumba mwanadamu aliumba mwanadamu aliyekuwa mnyofu mwandilifu bele za Mwenyezi Mungu lakini huyu mwanadamu akutosheka na uadilifu akutosheka na unyofu Mungu aliyeweka ndani yake ili awe akifanye kila wakati lakini wakati uh, mwanadamu aliona uh, kuna tunda angeweza kula inapendeza mtu ndio alianza mwanzo wa kuanguka na alipoanguka sasa akaanza kutengeneza mambo mengi kama yale ambao nimesoma katika kitabu cha Wakorintho wa kwanza fungu la sita tukianzia mstari wa tisa na mkia uh, matatizo yamevikia mahali yakatatiza mwanadamu mwanadamu akaingia mashida mengi na ni yeye tu anatafuta mungu la ombi ni ngai e mulungano na no, mwene waendie kuimaambia tena mungu mkani waisi aje ngai yeye tu ikakiita mutunda edha nda misio wa believe wake be wangai lakini ndai tikila kungamia wa believe wake kwa ngai ndio wa mwene enda kuimaambia matatizo na siku ya leo watu wengi tunakufa watu wengi tunalala vitandani sasa wengine tumekuwa watu waihoi kwa sababu ya kujitavutia matatizo nikipenda uke ukie mwenzako mwambie matatizo ni mbaya na Mungu ataki tutafute matatizo Mungu anakataa matatizo a uh, mtume Paul ametueleza ya kwamba uh, kuna mambo nilie nimesoma kada wa kada ya kwamba uh, watu wengi wameingia mambo yasiyompendeza Mungu wanaabudu miungu ya kutengenezwa na mikono ya mwanadamu na wanafikiria wanaweza kupata usaidizi kutoka uh, kwa miungu wametengeneza na mikono yao na ikiwa kuna jambo Mungu ama anachukia saidi ni mwanadamu akiabudu miungu imetengenezwa na mikono ya mwanadamu wakati Mungu alikuwa na wana wa Israeli walipokuwa wakiingia katika kuabudu miungu mingine Mungu alikuwa anatoka katikati yao na ningeweza kusema ya kwamba kwa sababu watu wameacha kumwabudu Mungu wa kweli ama wanaabudu Mungu wa kweli na kisha wanaingia katika kuabudu Mungu wa kutengenezwa na mikono ya watu ndio tunaona mambo ya ma anao tutatiza watu wanasema it is a change of what change of what change of weather change of weather imeletwa na matatizo ya me tafutwa ni mwanadamu. Shida tunaoona tunalia kila wakati tukitaka kupata mvua. Ni matatizo ambao tunafanya mbele ya Mungu. Na moja ni hii ya kuabudu miungu. Kuabudu miungu. Kuabudu miungu imekuwa kama jambo la kawaida siku hizi. Na Mungu apendezi na watu ambao wanaabudu a uh, Mungu ya mwana ngai ndenda ngai ya mwana ando ni mayite ngai ni mayite ngai na majuko kambe wa ngai majuko ya moko mo na maimonya ngai ni toa kwa kudaida vile vile wana wazeli wako wanafanya hivi lakini Mungu ametoka katikati yao kile cho pati katika mwanadamu ni masoya tu ya kwenda mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu kumbe kule kumwabudu Mungu kwa ukweli wameacha na ndio tunaona uh, mashida mengi yametupata na tunaanza kusema it is a change of weather change of weather it is 
not a change of weather. Mungu amechukia matendo yetu. Mungu amechukia matendo yetu na matendo yetu ni mbaya. Na hii moja ya kuabudu ndio Mungu a uh, a uh, aipendi. Ningetaka kuangalia lingine anasema ya kwamba a uh, ona ila alai ona ila alai siku ona makanisa. Siku Tipo. Hi. Mpango ya kando. Mpango ya kando. Watu wana eh hey, ameolewa lakini anaenda kando. Na wote nikwambie hili ikiwa wote ambao wana pasta mwingine. Wakati Yesu atakuja, hiyo picha yako ya kwenda ba, na mpango wa kando, ikiwa umeenda katika kicheka, picha tutaiona. Mali ulikuwa unaingia katika vicheka. Ikiwa ni nyuma za, za nyuma tutaona jivite tutu viche lakini ninaamini ya kwamba siku ya mwisho Yesu atakokuja hilo tatizo lako tutaliona wazi Bwana Yesu asifiwe Ikiwa watu wanaweza kusikia na kutii sauti ya Mungu ungeona mambo mengi Mungu atafanya kwa ajili lakini watu wameingia katika mipango Ni ndoa ngapi ambayo simeachana kwa ajili hii Si ni wengi Hata wengine tuko hapa lakini hawezi kusema ninafanya hivyo. Unafanya wewe hata unafanya wengine wajue. Koso koso, makoso koso ni mengi ni anduni. Ukaidi ya Mungu na maundu mengi. Eh, ena ibiti kumi na wakambe wa mwenye inuita mwendwa. Hamu kita mesi maana ba mwendwa hicho. Lakini naitembe anakimbia wewe. Wewe ni mpenzi wangu, mpendo wangu ninakupenda. Wacha niwaambie ndugu zangu kwa upendo wote tuachane na mambo ya ushirati tuachane na mambo ya ushirati hayo ni mambo ya kutafutia na Mungu anachukia hayo mambo nini zaingine Mungu wao ndine na ki Mungu ni tayari maya yako ya kila mtu na ukama na mzera wa Yesu uka ngainda anenga ne kiu ngainda anenga ne kiu nda anenga ni mtu nomwe ndio kula wa bila ukamuna ukakule ndi kuno hii Ele ni mungu mungu wa yetu wala ni naumi ya naumi ya buyu kala kana wako na kwa waka buyu mami 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 ni mbao waka waka wazia putanga hiki nuki na ni mtoto wako liyo tupa kwa cho ayo ndiyo tunaita makoso kusu mambo alisiyo mpendeza mungu kwa nini wanadamu ya tuwezi kukaa vizuri vile mungu anataka anataka tuwe watu wanyofu anataka tuwe watu wa believe kama huyu mama angekuwa mtu wa makosokoso kweli angefikisha hiyo miaka angekufa kitambo lakini alikaa akavumilia akazaa watoto akasomesha wakati nilikuwa pasta wake nilikuwa nakuja kwake akaniambia vile waliteseka kufanya kazi hapa kwa wepa na akavumilia hizo shida zote alee watoto na alinia watoto kupitia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo akaonyesha njia na waenda ikawa kuna wao katikati wanataki hiyo njia waendeshwe na mama wanavuta makosokoso na hiyo makosokoso ukivuta ni taabu unajiletea katika familia yako na laana kutoka kwa Mungu lakini siku ya leo Mungu ana neno kwetu tuachane na mambo ya simpendeza Mungu na moja tumeona kuabudu Mungu wa kutengeneza na mikono ya mwanadamu na usherati. Ah mambo ya kando. Pango wa kando. Kuna jambo lingine tunaweza kuona uh, ni makosokoso. Alama yetu saa taka. Eh washoka. Si ni wengi. Eh hey, ukienda okay, tawana washoka. Hiyo imbedezi Mungu. Ah uh, pia kuna kosokoso nyingine Mungu uh, anatuonyesha ya kwamba na ala meli kana hii naume na meli kana hii naume na ndio sio mema tu ita kanisa na Paulo anaenea kanisa Paulo alikuwa anaongea kwa kanisa Aki, ameona ya kwamba wa Kristo wa Kurindo wameingia kwa haya mambo ya makosokoso duku mwenzangu mambo uh, ya makosokoso akasema uh, wezi 
wezi wamejaa kila maana na wale wazio tosheka alometo mo na walevi akaona walevi katika kanisa kuna jambo lingine aliona ya kwamba uh, wale ambao wanatukana au manyi eh mkristo anatoa neno naanza kusema ya kwamba jambo zengi hiyo ni nini sasa Mungu anataka tuwe watu wa adilifu. Mungu aliumba wanadamu. Na utakapoenda nyumbani, angalia kuna mambo mengi Mungu anayekataa. Kuna wale wanyang'anya watu mali zao. Uh, na Mungu anasema ya kwamba hao watu wanafanya haya maujizo hawataingia katika ufalme wa Mungu. Ningetaka niulize kwa mahali ya ni, ni wangapi ambao wanataka waingie katika ufalme wa mbinguni mimi nikiwa wale ambao wanataka kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu katika ile lema tunazikizana tunazikizana naona wanelala kuna watu wamelala pale ni wangapi wanataka kuingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni ninaona ni karibu wote tuachane na mambo ya makosokoso Ambea mwenzako aachane na mambo na makosokoso. Hii na kupeleka kwa shetani street. Hakuna mahali pengine tutaenda. Nataka tuelewe jia ni mbili. Ya Yesu na ya nani? Na ya shetani. Na hakuna lingine hapa katikati. Haya usema wacha nichukue kati kidogo ya jiani, wacha nifanye hivi, wacha nitembee na haka mzichana, nitaenda kwa bubu. Nitaenda itaenda kwa bubu itaenda kutema kwa Mungu ha Mungu nisamee nini nini Sio wote ni dhambi Na watu wako wengi wako wako kanisani Na hapa tukiuliza sasa ni wangapi wameenda kanisani au wanaenda kanisani Ni karibu sisi wote tunaenda kanisani Lakini tunafanya vile Mungu anapendeza Ninamupendeza tunafanya hayo Na ni kwa nini Maana kila wakati tunatafuta kila wakati tunatafuta makosokoso Ukali ya lawe bidite lawe bidite ni asi ake bai mundu mbana ju Bai mundu mbana ju ni bao Familia nyingi simeanguka kwa sababu ya matatizo Na ni sisi tu tunayatafuta na hii ni mandi ya makosokoso. Ile ngaiombie ndio mle. Kiwa maundu, tuko na maundu tukasenga mno. Unaweza kuona mzee anachukua muka mwana, eka lae na ageta we muka. Mwende ni kukua atakuwa kuunga kwanya. Mzee zini mdarao yote mno, eka lae na muka mwana. Na na ndani ya mwana yao na nikalapo kenge alimweki akatuka stock nikaneka na aina moka hiyo pepo ishindo katika jina la Yesu tuachane na hao makosokoso haya mpendezi Mungu ndio 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 nalamu ya Yesu unyoka ukasenga mnubi wanaanuma ine ya praise wanaanuma sababu ni zeta hapa nase rebe ni mtizi tu ni zeta tu ni zeta ni ni kwa wote ndeto hiyo ni hapa mtabana zeta hello Hebu salimia mwenzako. Muulize anasikia maneno? Nitoe yeah. wanai. Kwa sababu ya nini yeye juu yana? Wale ambao wanasikia hizo sauti yangu. Ni mwako ana nipo ile ni kuweka na makosokoso. Ni mwana anaitwa ile ya na makosokoso. Ni mume wa Mungu atakuwa ni fora wa time. Kila mtu matokwa. Wao mwenda. Ela ni tu kwenda kutumu simu wewe tu. Tuachane na nini? Tuachane na nini? Tuachane na nini? Tuachane na nini? Mimi watoto wa mama. Ukionekana mnaonekana watu ambao wana elimu, watu wanaelewa. Lakini japo alio ile Zio mpendeza Mungu mpenda. Wakati Mungu atakaye tuma mwanae Yesu Kristo amuinue mama wenu ewani akutane na, na Yesu Kristo na mubaki 
mimi utakuwa watoto wa nani mkaelewa sana sio ezangu aitu umeoneka lile na dhamu yana amba tetunde na mwitua kuonde mkaelewa sana sio tunaelewana utakuwa watoto wa nani eh eh mama yenu atawaambia mimi si wajui ingawa niliwazaa na si kwa kufunza haya kwa hivyo ninawaomba tuachane na makosokoso haleluya mkuweka utaachana naye matatizo utaacha maana Mungu aliumba mtu akiwa mnyofu mtu ambaye ni mwandilifu mtu ambaye ana a, atatembea vile Mungu anataka mtu ambaye ni mtiifu mtu ambaye anapendeza Mungu lakini sisi tunatavutia uh, matatizo hapa na pale nasikia reverend kama mimi mmepatikana mahali ama mnaweza kuona ni ukiona nikitembea muone kama mtoto kakanakaa kama mimi na hapa nilikuwa ninawaambia tuwajane na makosokoso sasa hiyo sasa hiyo ni nini eh eh hiyo ni nini sasa nitoe hiyo ndo ngwazeni hadi mwenyekani ya makosokoso na kuokoa na siana chukite utaona watoto wakitoka mahali wakisema huyo ndiye mama yangu huyo ndiye baba yangu na utapata aibu maana ulikuwa na mpango wa kando na ya mpendezi Mungu mambo ya mpango wa kando naelewa ya kwamba nilipouliza ya kwamba ni wangapi wanataka kuingia mbinguni karibu wetu ameli amenua mkono wake akasema sitaki mambo ya makosa kosa katika huyu mkutano aliye mshuhuda mkuu katika mioyo yetu ni Mungu na vile tumeinua mikono yetu tukielekeza mahali anapokaa tunaamini ya kwamba Uh, sisi tutaacha mambo ya makosokoso na wacha niwaambie hivi kama watu waongeweza kuacha mambo ya makosokoso unaweza kuwa na mvua ije unaweza kuona watoto wakisoma bila shida lakini shida tunazo ziona zote katika watoto wetu watu wa siku hizi wanaweza kusema ni umangaa wetu mbele ya Mungu nasikia lakini hatutaki kuyafanya 